tucked away in New York City's Central Park is a refined oasis, captured as if in an earlier time. A manicured lawn, white clothes and hats, and silence, interrupted only by that wonderful smack of competition the well-mannered have always come to so naturally. So normally we'd have a couple cocktails out here with us, right? Where are the cocktails? Yes, yes. I I'm sorry, I'm no a bad coolers. host. Uh, Actually, John Osborne, a national croquet champion and Hall of Famer, is just a good sport. Don't be too short, don't be too long, too don't long. panic. Too short, don't panic. Yep, D don't do any of these things. <laughs> don't think like that. What should I do? Just put it right there. Deep breathing. Uh oh. oh. Snap. The rules of croquet were first formalized under the All England Croquet Club in 1868. The game mixes the skills of pool and the strategy of chess. Simply put, hit four wooden balls through a series of metal wickets first. And then to win, the point is at the end to hit the to stake. To hit that stake. In 1967, the New York Croquet Club was one of the first created in the United States. I think on everyone's bucket list, it's, it's to play a tournament or at least play a game in New York City. John Osborne has played here his whole life. His father, Jack, was not just a founding member, he also developed the national standard for American croquet here. In 1977, Jack founded and headed the United States Croquet Association. Do you remember those days when he was working through pulling it together? I and sure do. What was I that sure like? Do. Players and clubs were popping up out of nowhere. The growth uh, was Phenomenal. It was popular both as a competitive and backyard game. Back in the day, you know, was there's a perception that perhaps you had to be a little well-to-do to join. Did that change? That's changed a lot. When, when my father was, was getting the USCA started here, uh, he promoted it as a sophisticated, high-class, uh, don't come near us. Uh, if, if you're trying to advertise beer, don't talk to us. We're the champagne sport. These days, we'll take anybody from anywhere. Good job. One day each week, the New York Club even opens its doors to the public and gives lessons for free. Do people ever say, oh, crochet? Do they oh, sure, I get that all the time. People... But they say, well, where do you carry the needles? How do you get them through security? <laughs> the growth of the sport has leveled off in recent years. Still, it retains its popularity among retirees. But it does have another very strong, enthusiastic following. People dress up. It's taken very seriously. It is. It's a, it's a very big event in the town of Annapolis. Annapolis is home to the Naval Academy, of course, but also to its 30-year croquet rivalry with neighboring college, St. John's. Thomas Myers graduated from St. John's in 2011. We, every year, uh, come up with a secret costume. So what did you wear in 2011? In 2011, we wore fake Navy outfits. St. John's has won 25 of the 30 games. Yeah. Why is that surprising to me? You'd think that the Naval Academy would have some beefy guys that could really yeah. play this game. Well, they have uh, more constraints in their time, I guess oh. is the, the oh, thought. very generous yeah. of you that they don't get enough time to they practice. They don't get enough time to practice, that's right. Still, thousands of fans turn out. It's the largest croquet attended event. Really? Yes. And they come to watch you guys. No, they no. come to drink. <laughs> now, how do you play well if you're drunk? Oh uh, well, we practice drunk most of the time. <laughs> you uh, practice drunk. It's hard to imagine pulling off something like this sober, let alone oh, drunk. Nice. See how that works? That was awesome. That was awesome, yeah. wasn't it? Take a look at that again, or look at this one. There you go. Or even this newcomers. Yes! Double high five on that one. That was absolutely awesome. That's, that's the sexiest shot in croquet I've ever seen. That is absolutely <laughs> wonderful. No yelling. <laughs>